thank you for purchasing our product. We're sure you'll be glad you chose our machine and it will bring you much enjoyment in the fantastic world of sewing craft and quilting. Preparation Connecting the power supply This machine is equipped with a two-way speed control for sewing. You can use either the foot control or the start-stop key to operate the machine. Before connecting the machine to the power supply, make sure to turn the power switch off. If you use the foot control, insert the pin connector into the jack. Connect the power supply cord by inserting the plugs into the machine and a power outlet. Machine Operating Keys The machine operating keys are conveniently grouped together for easy access while sewing. Start-Stop Key Press the Start-Stop key to start or stop the machine. Please note, however, that the Start-Stop key will not work when the foot control is connected. The machine will run slowly as long as this key is pressed and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the key is released. Pressing this key while the machine is running will slow down the machine and it will stop when the key is released. This function is extremely useful when precise control of stitching is necessary. Reverse key the machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse key is being pressed when these patterns are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold down this key so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, pressing the reverse key causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto Lock Key The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically by pressing the Auto Lock key when these patterns have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. Needle Up-Down Key Press this key to raise or lower the needle. Thread Cutter Key Press this key to trim the threads after sewing. The needle and presser foot will automatically rise after trimming the threads. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you use thick thread or the twin needle, use the thread cutter on the faceplate. Speed Control Slider The speed control slider sets the maximum sewing speed. To decrease the speed, shift the slider to the left. Shift to the right to increase the speed. Winding the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Raise the foot. Slide the hook cover release button to the right and remove the hook cover. 
Take out the bobbin. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin like this. Attach the spool holder and press it firmly against the spool of thread. Pass the thread through the guide on the thread guide bar from behind. Hold the thread with both hands and pass the thread around the thread guide. Pass the thread through the hole in the bobbin from inside. Put the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Push the bobbin winder stopper to the left. With the free end of the thread held in your hand, press the bobbin winding key. Press the bobbin winding key again to stop the bobbin when it has wound several layers. Cut the thread close to the hole in the bobbin. Press the bobbin winding key again. When the bobbin is fully wound, the machine stops automatically. The bobbin winder stopper automatically returns to its original position. Remove the bobbin. Cut the thread. Inserting the bobbin. Press the lockout key. Place the bobbin in the bobbin holder with the thread running off counterclockwise. Hold the bobbin in place with your fingertip so it does not rotate. Guide the thread into the front notch of the bobbin holder. Pass the thread under the guide and pull it to the left. Pass the thread into the guide paths marked 1 and 2. Pull the thread to the right through the slit. Insert the hook cover plate. Threading the machine. Raise the foot. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up-down key. Press the lockout key. Set the spool of thread on the spool pin like this. Attach the spool holder and press it firmly against the spool of thread. Pass the thread through the guide on the thread guide bar from behind. Pass the thread through the right thread guide. Hold the thread with both hands and pass it under the thread guide plate. Pass the thread through the left thread guide. Draw the thread along the right channel. Pull the thread down along the right channel. While holding the thread, draw the thread down and around the tension dial from the right to the left. Pull the thread up to insert it between the tension discs and under the loop of the check spring. Be sure that the thread is coming out from notch of the disc. While holding the thread, Slip the thread into the eye of the take-up lever and pull it down along the left channel. Pass the thread through the lower thread guide from the right to the left. Pass the thread through the needle bar thread guide from the right and draw it to the left firmly. Then pass it through the thread holder of the needle threader. Pass the thread through the thread holder and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Pull down the needle threader lever as far as it will go. Raise the threader slowly so a loop of the thread is pulled up through the needle eye. Pull the thread end through the needle eye. You need to draw up the bobbin thread when sewing gathering stitches, etc. For drawing up the bobbin thread, see the instruction manual. Raising and lowering the presser foot. The presser foot lifter raises and lowers the presser foot. You can raise the presser foot higher than the normal up position. This helps you to change the needle plate or place thick fabrics under the foot. The knee lifter is useful when sewing patchwork, quilting, etc., since it allows you to handle the fabric while your knee controls the presser foot. 
See the instruction manual for more information. Replacing the presser foot. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down key. Press the lockout key. Raise the foot. Press the lever on the back of the foot holder and the presser foot will drop off. Place the desired foot under the foot holder so the pin on the foot lies just under the groove on the foot holder. Lower the foot with the foot lifter to lock the foot in place. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Replacing the foot holder. When using the dual feed feet, darning foot, etc., you need to replace the foot holder. Raise the needle by pressing the needle up down key. Press the lockout key. Raise the foot. Loosen the thumb screw and remove the foot holder. Attach the dual feed foot holder to the presser bar from behind. Tighten the thumb screw with your fingers. Push the dual feed link to engage with the upper feed driver. Lower the foot and the needle. Tighten the thumb screw firmly with the screwdriver to secure the foot holder. Raise the needle and the foot. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Adjusting the foot pressure. Foot pressure can be adjusted by turning the foot pressure dial. The foot pressure dial should be set at 3 for regular sewing. Reduce the pressure for applique sewing on fine synthetics and elastic fabrics. Consult information on the LCD screen for the recommended foot pressure setting. Thread tension. Set the tension control dial to 4 for general sewing. However, you may need to adjust the tension manually depending on sewing conditions, such as the type of fabric and number of layers. Turn the dial to a higher number to increase the tension. To decrease the tension, turn it to a lower number. Replacing the needle plate. Use the straight stitch needle plate when sewing straight stitch. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot to the highest position. Push the needle plate release lever to the right and the needle plate will snap off. A warning message will appear to remind you that the needle plate is not secured. Remove the needle plate by lifting it to the right. Insert the left edge of the straight stitch needle plate into the opening. Push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Check to make sure that the confirmation message appears. Turn the hand wheel slowly and check that the needle does not hit the needle plate. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Dropping the feed dog. The feed dog can be lowered with the drop feed lever located on the right side of the machine. Shift the lever toward you to drop the feed dog. Shift the lever away from you to raise the feed dog and it will return to the up position when you start the machine. Practical Sewing LCD
When turning the power switch on, the LCD screen will show straight stitch 1 of mode 1 has been selected. The LCD display will show selected mode or type of attached needle plate, recommended foot, recommended thread tension, recommended foot pressure, feed dog position, stitch pattern number, pattern image, stitch width or needle drop position, stitch length and direct pattern reference window. Mode selection. This machine offers a wide selection of stitch patterns and monograms. Press the mode key to change the mode. The following three sewing modes are available. Mode 1, Direct Pattern Selection Mode. The 10 most commonly used stitches can be selected directly. Mode 2, Utility and Decorative Stitch Patterns. The Utility, Buttonhole, Specialty, Decorative Stitches, and Patterns for Patchwork Quilting are available. Mode 3, Monogram. You can program letters and special characters for monogramming. Pattern Selection Mode 1 You can select the stitch patterns on the direct pattern by pressing the corresponding numeral keys. Mode 2 a. Using numeral keys. Enter the three-digit pattern number by pressing the numeral keys to select the desired stitch pattern. Press 0, 9, and 8 keys in order. Stitch pattern 098 has been selected. B. Using stitch width adjusting dial and stitch length adjusting dial. Press the Stitch Display key. Turn the Stitch Width Adjusting dial until the page 10 appears. Turn the Stitch Length Adjusting dial to move the cursor. Press the Memory key to select the stitch pattern. Stitch pattern 098 has been selected. C. Using arrow keys. Press the arrow keys until the desired pattern is displayed. Stitch pattern 098 has been selected. Mode 3 A. Using numeral keys. Enter the three-digit pattern number by pressing the numeral keys to select the desired letter. Press 0, 1, and 0 keys in order. Uppercase letter J has been selected. B. Using stitch width adjusting dial and stitch length adjusting dial. Press the stitch display key. Turn the stitch width adjusting dial to select the character style. Turn the stitch length adjusting dial to move the cursor. Press the memory key to select the stitch pattern. Lowercase letter J has been selected. C. Using arrow keys. Press the arrow keys until the desired pattern is displayed. Uppercase letter J has been selected. Altering stitch width and length. 
stitch width and length are programmed and optimized for the selected pattern. However, you can adjust them to suit your specific sewing needs. To alter the stitch width, turn the stitch width adjusting dial. For straight stitches, you can move the needle drop position by turning the stitch width adjusting dial. To alter the stitch length, turn the stitch length adjusting dial. Buttonholes. There are various styles of buttonholes available. Place the button on the back of the automatic buttonhole foot and push back the holder to hold the button. Buttonhole length is determined automatically. You can also fine tune the buttonhole size by turning the adjusting screw. Press the lockout key. Raise the presser foot to the highest position. Attach the buttonhole foot. Draw the needle thread to the left through the hole of the buttonhole foot. Press the lockout key to unlock the machine. Place the fabric under the foot. Lower the needle into the starting point by turning the hand wheel. Lower the presser foot. Pull down the buttonhole lever as far as it will go. Start sewing while pulling the needle thread lightly to the left. After several stitches, free the needle thread and continue sewing. The machine will stop automatically when the buttonhole is complete. Advanced Sewing Techniques Programming a Pattern Combination You can program stitch patterns as well as letters to make a pattern combination. Select uppercase letter A in Mode 3. Press the Memory key. Select pattern number 148 in Mode 2. Press the Memory key. Select pattern number 148 in Mode 2 again. Press the Mirror Image key. Press the Memory key. Select uppercase letter B in Mode 3. Press the Memory key. Start the machine to sew the pattern combination.
Customizing Machine Settings You can customize the machine settings to your preference. Press the Set key and the LCD screen will show the machine setting window. Turn the Stitch Length Adjusting dial to select the setting you would like to change. Screen Brightness Buzzer Sound Auto Thread Cutting Needle Stop Position Adjustable Startup Speed Start-Stop Key Adjustable Startup Speed Foot Control Favorite Stitch Adjustment Resume Setting Bobbin Winding Speed Language Selection Reset All to Default You can turn pages by turning the Stitch Width Adjusting key. Care and Maintenance Replacing the Needle Check the needle frequently to ensure that its tip is not rough or blunt. Replace it with a new needle if it is dull or bent. Be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Loosen the needle clamp screw with a screwdriver and remove the needle. Insert a new needle with the flat side facing back. Push the needle up against the stopper and tighten the needle clamp screw securely with the screwdriver. Cleaning the machine. It is recommended to clean the hook area and the automatic thread cutter device at least once a month. Be sure to turn off the machine and disconnect it from the power supply. Remove the needle and presser foot. Push the needle plate release lever to the right and remove the needle plate. Remove the bobbin and the bobbin holder. Clean the bobbin holder with a lint brush. Wipe the bobbin holder both inside and outside with a soft cloth. Clean the feed dog, thread cutter device, and hook race with a lint brush. Wipe the inside of the hook race with the cloth. Attach the bobbin holder in the hook race, making sure the knob fits next to the stopper of the hook race. Insert the left edge of the needle plate into the opening and push down on the mark of the needle plate until it is locked in place. Turn the power switch on to make sure a warning message does not appear. Attach the needle and presser foot. Wipe the machine body with a soft cloth. Never use benzene or other chemical solvents for cleaning the machine body. Regular maintenance will ensure that your machine runs trouble-free.